Welcome to another video and welcome to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it on social media, and don't forget to subscribe. While you're at it, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos. Canada is a great country with a lot of amazing things that will both shock and excite you. Here are 8 amazing, interesting, and sometimes weird things about Canada, past and present, that you may not have heard of. Number 1. Canada is really, really big. How big? Just about 10 million square kilometers, or 3.8 million square miles. It's the second largest country in the world. Only Russia is bigger. Russia used to be even bigger. Yes, Canada is bigger than the USA. Canada is bigger than Australia, a continent. The Arrogant Worms, the best musical comedy trio you've never heard of, even wrote a song simply called, Canada's Really Big. Canada is bigger than the surface of the moon Phobos. Canada could hold 15 and a half Frances. Perish the thought. So Canadians, the next time the US wants to push you around, just remind them you're bigger than they are. Number 2. Every Canadian knows which celebrities are Canadian. When Canada is mentioned on an American TV show, we stand up and take notice. Then we talk about it the next day with other Canadians. Craig Ferguson even has a routine about Canadians' willingness to be made fun of. He said there were two reasons. One, we're bloody smart. We get that it's a joke. Two, we're just happy to be included. For the record, here are some celebrities that Canadians know are Canadians. ABC News anchor Peter Jennings, game show host Alex Trebek from Jeopardy, singer Justin Bieber, actor Ryan Reynolds, rap artist Drake, actor and comedian Jim Carrey, singer Brian Adams, actor William Shatner, and singer Celine Dion. Number 3. Thirsty? Canada's got you covered. Canada has more lakes than any other country in the world. According to World Atlas, of the 1.4 million lakes in the world, 62% are found in Canada. That's approximately 879,800 lakes. Russia came in second with 201,200, with the US coming in third at 102,500. In fact, a full 7% of the world's renewable fresh water is located in Canada. In total, Canada has roughly 20% of the world's fresh water, but much of it is trapped underground or frozen on the surface, and once trapped, won't renew itself. Then again, maybe we should keep that a secret. Wouldn't want our water stolen by aliens. Yeah, that's it, aliens. Number 4. Speaking of aliens, some Canadians want to welcome them with open arms. St. Paul, Alberta boasts the world's first UFO landing pad. It was built in 1967 with the local population's full approval. These days, it's even on the town logo. Still, 55 years later and no aliens. Not doing a great job, are they? Number 6. Canadian Inventions Some of the things you didn't know were invented by Canadians. How about basketball? How about insulin? How about, wait for it, instant mashed potatoes? Number 6. Most Canadians will apologize for anything. Accidentally cut someone off on a sidewalk? Sorry. Take too long ordering at Tim Hortons? Sorry. Not just to the staff, to the people in line behind you, too. The government issues apologies all the time. It rarely does anything after that, which just goes to show you how easy it is. Weird Al Yankovic sang about it in his parody, Canadian Idiot. Always hear the same kind of story, break their nose and they'll just say sorry. Tell me, what kind of freaks are that polite? Number 7. Canada still has a king. Not kidding. Not only that, it's not even their own king. It's the King of Britain, Charles III. It used to be Queen Elizabeth II just two months ago. The Canadian government had the painstakingly difficult task of almost immediately after the Queen's passing, swapping out all mentions of Queen Elizabeth II with King Charles III on all official documents. The King's delegate in Canada is the Governor General, who must sign every bill or motion passed at the Federal House and Senate into law. This is called Royal Assent. The Governor General is purely a ceremonial role. See, in the US, the President is both the head of government and the head of state. In Canada, the head of government and the head of state are two different people. The Prime Minister is the head of government and he runs the country. The Governor General is the head of state and she cuts ribbons. Doesn't change the fact that the former Queen is still on all of our money. Soon it will be Charles III. Let's hope his ears will fit on the loony. 
Number 8. The polka dot door. For many Canadians, it's a slice of their childhood. It was a kid show that ran every weeknight, most of the year, from 1971 to 1993. Boy, is it hard to describe. There were two hosts, a man and a woman, and they talked directly to the audience. Most of the rest of the gas were children's dolls and toys. They weren't animated, they weren't puppets, they were just regular kids' toys. Not fancy store sold toys, more down to earth than that. There was never any product placement. These were the same kind of toys even the less affluent kids watching at home might have. Basically, these adults played with the dolls, the same way the kids did at home. They also taught various educational lessons. Each night had a different theme. Monday was treasure day, Tuesday was dress up day, Wednesday was animal day, Thursday was imagination day, Friday was finding out day. Now, imagination day is the important one here because only on that day did Polkaroo appear. What, you might ask, is a Polkaroo? And that's a really good question. So he was kind of a kangaroo thing. He never spoke, ever, and universally, he would only appear when the male host was off camera. Even the kids could figure that one out. They were one and the same. Still, the Polkaroo's antics were worthy of a mime, a clown, and a marsupial all rolled into one. Even weirder, the show was created by the government. Again, not kidding. In Ontario, there's a network owned by the provincial government called TV Ontario, or TVO. It's dedicated to educational programs and, in the days of the 12 Channel Universe, it was producing its own programming, most of it for kids. And as crazy as that may sound, it was great stuff. Genuinely solid TV for kids, all on low budgets with tiny casts and crew. They used to air the stuff in schools, during classes, in place of lessons. Can you imagine watching TV for school? Hope you found these weird, amazing things about Canada interesting. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the description. Thank you for watching.